Hey guys, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you with today's Catch 365 tip of the day. First day of daylight savings time. It's bright. Well, it was bright, but it's it's 7.30. We're filming at 7.30 and it's still light outside. So that means a lot of things, but one thing it does mean is Surf Snook, Palm Beach County style, is not far away. First week of March here, you know, a few more weeks, a month or so, and it won't be long and we'll start seeing some snook on the beach. So just want to talk today about three of my favorite lures for using on the beach in three kind of unique conditions. High sunlight, low light, and at night. These are my three favorite surf lures that I think are dynamite choices for getting the snook. So, in all honesty, middle of the day, high sun is not my favorite time to target snook on the beach. But it can be effective, and you can also sight fish them sometime, which is really cool. When I do have to fish for them in a high sun condition, I'm going with a smaller bait. One of my favorites is a small white swim jig. This is a Gulfstream um, Pro Skimmer. And it's got a small swim bait tail. It's got a Gambler TZ in White Lightning swim bait tail on it. Also works well with a Gambler Little Easy, which I did a previous video on about being my favorite all-around lure. The addition of the Gulfstream jig slows the fall of this jig. I can time it to let it sink slowly. And those fish typically are only in a couple feet of water. So if I'm sight casting or presenting, I get a slower presentation out of this. And in a low current, you know, slow retrieve, which you need a lot of times, this can be very effective. I don't have to super fast crank it. I can work it real slow. It mimics a small pilchard or a little sardine or something like that, little croaker whiting that those snook are in close feeding on. So high sun, that's my favorite choice. Low light conditions, first thing in the morning, late in the afternoon, or in reduced visibility conditions, one of my favorite lures to throw is a small to medium X-Wrap. And one common theme that you'll see here is when it comes to surf snook fishing, especially when we're fishing cleaner water, regardless of the light situation, I'm throwing a white bait. Along the beach, Palm Beach County, um, even when I go over to the West Coast, tend to be white is almost always my favorite color. Yeah, you'll catch them on other baits, but just the Glass Ghost, for example, and this Rapala X-Wrap is great. It's going to catch them. Mimics all the bait fish, and it works very well in clear water. So low light conditions, first thing in the morning, late in the afternoon, or when you have a little chop on the water, the water's stirred up a little bit, the fish can't see as good. I like to throw a size 10 X-Wrap, and it lets you cover a lot of water. Super easy to fish. You can just swim it. The nice thing about an X-Wrap or other similar style jerk baits, slash baits, is you can also kind of stop, start them, slash them, mix up the retrieve to give them different action, but a cast and retrieve will work totally effectively. And then if I'm fishing the beach at night, my favorite, and I kind of stumbled on this semi by accident last year, is the six inch Tsunami swim bait. The spool tech's very popular, a flare hawk will work well for it, but there is something about this Tsunami swim bait. Again, I like the pearl with the black spot. Bait's inexpensive. It's got great action. I feel like in, um, you know, again, on the surf conditions, when I'm not fishing deep water, I don't need this thing to get, get down right away in the current. I can swim it a little slower. I have confidence in this bait at night. I'm going to throw this, especially when I feel like the bigger fish are around. I know it's going to get them, and it just, it's a great, great lure. So keep these three lures in mind. Tsunami Swim Bait, Rapala X-Wrap, and a Gulfstream Skimmer Jig with a small swim bait tail for all your surf fishing for snook. Um, you know, follow us at junobait.com. We always write about surf snook in the report. It won't be long now. Another month or so, and those fish should be showing up. It's a lot of fun. Get out there and get them, guys. Thanks for watching.